Hello Aries and welcome to your future love reading. This is for Aries. Aries, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aries, this is for you. We're going to see what's going on with your future love. This is for Aries. What is going on with their future love? Okay. We have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So there's soul recognition here. I feel, especially on their part, they're very familiar with you. You feel very familiar to them. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So they want to be open and vulnerable to you. They want you to feel the same way. Um, very close, very like an instant connection, an instant closeness here. So let's see where this is going. I don't think you're dealing with the most trusting of, um, of people here. And you're probably not either, Aries. But um, this person, they don't just let anybody into their heart. It has to be some sort of spiritual connection to them. It has to feel very close. So, and that's how they are, they are viewing you. All right, this is for Aries. What's going on? with their future love. If this resonates with you, Aries, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aries, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus, as this will not resonate with every Aries out there. Please keep in mind some of the energies can be Vice versa, interchangeable, assign the roles as you wish. This is for Aries. What is going on with their future love? Okay. Okay, so they're thoroughly checking you out. Yeah, this person, um, they got trust issues. Um, but they, they're just making sure of you. And what they're manifesting into their life is somebody that they can be very close to. All right, so the way I'm seeing this now, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with strong Sagittarius in their chart. Balance, patience. The, this person's very patient. They want to know all about you. This, and this is a new person to you in this lifetime. Uh, you kind of surprised them, uh, but you were a pleasant surprise. Um, they do want to open up the lines of communication. That's what they're wishing for. And they will when the time is right. But they just want to make sure um, about a few things here. They do feel that spiritual connection to you. Um, temperance. So I feel like your souls are ready to reconnect in this lifetime. So that's, that's really nice. This person is very, very patient and methodical, right? They don't let just anybody in. They don't. Um, very guarded individual. So they have to see what they have to see uh, before they um, let you into their heart. They're very selective. And it has to be something absolutely amazing. And you probably feel, feel the same. So you could be dealing with um, an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. We got the Queen of Swords energy. This person's been through it, okay? Uh, Queen of Swords energy, male or female, very experienced, well-seasoned, um, been through uh, the struggle, been through the hard times, um, especially when it comes to relationships. And right now, this person's thinking with their head and not their heart. Their heart will come later. So they just want to make sure, um, they just want to be sure about you. Because when they are sure about you, that's when they're going to get serious, okay? So you can be um, 
dealing with an earth sign or somebody with strong earth in their chart, um, male or female, does not matter. This person is looking for somebody to be settled with. Um, they're not looking to jump into anything too quickly. I think that's what they've done before in the past and they, they got burned, right? It was very, um, their love life has been very karmic. Their past um, relationships been very karmic, very spontaneous, very um, driven by their passion, their attraction instead of um, the <clears throat> the mind or the soul or the heart it's been very um, passion driven so now this person sees uh, love and sees relationships in a completely different way and they're very selective they're very careful and um, they want somebody that they can be settled down with that they can spend their life with instead of you know just just being through all the like it's so so much chaos so much drama that this person is is used to dealing with they don't want that in their life anymore they're calling somebody else in they're calling you in um and with this past life connection they're calling you back in right <laughs> so it's time to reconnect in this lifetime all right, Aries, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. Um, I'm going to read these two together. They they feel like it's fate. They feel like it's, it's destiny. They um, feel like... Um, this is a situation that could be meant to be, right? It's meant to be. Um, but they're wishing currently to open up the lines of communication and they will when the time is right. You'd be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart, but um, when they're ready, they are going to be reaching out to you and talking to you, flirting with you heavily. All right, so the Hierophant, they, want something spiritual in their life, a spiritual connection in their life, and this is where all of this comes in. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, so they have a lot of hope here. They have a lot of faith here. So they've, they've, you guys have ran into each other at some point, and there was this, they, you kind of blew their mind with the soul recognition you were a nice surprise and they just felt that instant connection to you and they want more of that they want more of that feeling um because it's very rare that they feel that way knight of swords um this is air so you were a nice surprise for them and they when the lines of communication do open up um not only do they want it to be, you know, nice and flirty, uh, but they want it to be very honest and very open and very real. And I feel like you have absolutely no problem being blunt, Aries, right? But this person, they do, they are very careful with who they let in their space and they're just going to thoroughly check you out here. They're going to do their research on you and make sure you are who you say you are. Make sure you're not, you know married or attached to somebody or whatever they're just going to make absolutely sure that you are available and that they can you're the type of person that um they can trust mostly right you're the type of person that they will let into their space let into their heart all right, any more information in regards to Aries' future love? Let's see. There you are. Oh, my. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like they've been searching for you for a while. This person may work with the moon sometimes. That's for some of you, not all of you. But they've been looking, and when you showed up, it was a nice surprise. 
like I was saying before, this person's been through it and they are leaving behind a lot of empty cups here. Uh, it just, you know, very karmic relationships this person was dealing with and now they want something real. This is a very intense connection here. Let me show you what I've got. We got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So same suit, masculine, feminine energy. This is definitely a very strong soulmate, past life connection. All right, so I feel like when the two of you get together, um, you're going to have a lot of laughs. You're going to have a lot of good times. You're going to be talking analytically. Um, you're going to be... Um, you know, sharing your different experiences and it's going to be very blunt and raw conversation and it's going to be, you're going to enjoy the communication with this person. But not only this, okay, not only this connection, but we've got the divine masculine and the divine feminine of the same suit. Extremely spiritual connection here, right? Extremely, this is the mother and father of the tarot. So, this is beautiful. Um, Aries, this, this is going to be somebody very significant for you. But like I said, they're guarded. So, they need more time. Very patient, very methodical. More time, more information to make a decision about you. Right? They've been through it. But um, with all this spiritual connection going on, I, I mean, it's just why. I mean, that's you. Right? And then you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with another Aries. But you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Taurus. It's, um, it's a beautiful connection here. Very good cards here. This is like the best reading you guys have gotten in a very long time. This person is going to, after they thoroughly check you out, and maybe you're doing the same to them, or will be, they're going to be open. They're going to take a chance. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're not going to be able to shake this connection once the two of you have found each other in this life. You, I mean, it's going to be hard to release each other. And you're not going to want to because it's finally time for the two, your soul, their soul to come together. And to just settle down and create some, something beautiful. Create a beautiful relationship together. It's... Um, I just feel like you've been through a lot, they've been through a lot, and um, they just want to check you out. That's it. And then once they see the things that they need to see, Aries, they will take that leap of faith. They will, you know, be very open uh, with you and very honest and very, uh, a lot of blunt and fun conversations you're going to have with this person so that is very good it's time for your souls to come together i like that aries beautiful reading you guys have a great week and you take very good care of yourself and like i said at the beginning of the video you can now follow me on instagram facebook twitter tiktok for those new to the channel welcome have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. All this information and all these links can be found down in the description box. Next week, I'll be working on the big monthly readings. And um, Aries, great reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. You guys take very good care of yourself. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless.